We are on to governor linkage here. I like this picture because it shows everything kind of connected and hooked up already. This is on page 7 8 shows me which way the springs have to go, where they have to go. This little spring we should have never taken off. It's right underneath there. My governor arm, this lever right here. I'm going to go there to make sure that's easier to get. I'm going to get my governor arm. This governor lever right here has to go on my pin. Remember, make sure your pin has the loop going to the out. The flat edge goes in this little notch right here, and that should be able to rotate. That's going against that governor gear inside there. So I'm going to get my governor arm on, and then I am going to get my linkages done. So we're going to start out governor arm here. Governor arm slips nice. It's got that, in case you took this all the way off, hopefully you put it back on. But this bolt, that governor arm bolt, it's kind of got a D head on it. That flat spot goes against this flat spot right here. And then that nut just starts out. I can put that arm right on there. That's going to go on there. And we're going to set this in a moment. My spring, this is my linkage spring. This goes the coily part of the spring comes to this side over here. And it goes right in this little hole right here. And then this part of the spring goes in this first little hole right there. So now when I pull on that, it should put tension on that spring. It should put tension on that governor arm. When I go this way, it's releasing the tension on that spring and governor arm. So that's how that part should be working. Now comes the fine little tiny spring. All right. So flat blade screwdriver on the end of my screwdriver. I find that works the best usually. Your governor linkage, how this governor linkage should look is this spring right here should be towards the 90 degree bent end. The rod should be going right through the center of that spring. The long end of the spring should be to this little J hook end. And that J hook end goes in your outside hole on the governor arm and the little end of the spring goes on the inside hole. And this side is the easy side. But it has to be first. So I put the bar on the outside and the spring on the inside hole. Okay? Now comes a little bit more difficult side. I am going to take this. I'm going to slide off my carburetor until I can get to the point that I can slide this J hook into this hole. There it went down in. And now I can see how that hooks up. I'm going to slide my carburetor back on, and this is where this little piece happens. I'm going to shorten that up. 
I'm going to use my screwdriver to get it started in that hole. And now I can twist that screwdriver to get the end of that spring started in that hole. You guys have much younger eyes. And you want to be super careful not to bend that spring. And what that does, that just puts a little bit of tension back on it. So now I can take a peek and see how all that works. Okay, so when I pull on this, it pulls that, opens that wide open, let go here, that lets go here, which closes that down. And that's how you set your governor linkage 